gone off the streets since I was 17 years old. So, I mean, the people that close to me are uh, my inner circle, my family, the Ironfield Housing Project. Boxed off in a square where you basically, you're not uh, what we would call some rowdy, some gangster. You know, the Ville never had a stigma of being gangster. You know, we got a like a laid back vibe because we dead in the center of the central business district. Everything that goes on in the city happens around my hood. You may have police in forms of scooters, horses, skateboards, paddling bikes. They could get to our project within seconds. What, what ward is in the ward? Our village is the full ward. We all to come together as a family, you yeah, know, and I'm a big right, dog, huh? you know, big new, and I'm gonna bring all of us together, you know, and <laughs> stop all this killing. <laughs> I'm there. What's, what's, what's some of the major players? Are you talking about street figures, music that come from the view that made that the one? Well, uh, Warren Mays is our crown king. He's the king of the Ville. Mm -hmm. Come through 50, 60, 70 n with him that he buy scooters and motorbikes for and, and his crew passed that shit out in the project. Been making it rain, throwing money off the top, poor his kids. He come through, all the kids gonna run behind his cars. They run to his store in the project. Give them everything in that motherfucker. That's how he ran it, dog. Devastating Twins, which is the ghetto twins to everybody else, was his first artist. That's when he was doing the music thing heavy, doing his street hustle. And that was around the time with Cash Money and No Limit was like getting they started as well, right? Was, Ooh, was, no, indeed. Was, no Limit, Cash Money wasn't even in existence. This is like 86. We could do it in the morning till we see the sun. We could rock the nation. It's still the whole world. It's up to you, so get it, girl. He had a really good, strong presence. What, what happened? Oh, uh, he had an incident where he was killed. I wouldn't like to go into the details of that. No. Nope. About what year was that? 96, 97, mm. or something like that. It was like 94, because I know Slim was talking about how New Orleans had the murder capital at that time. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Slim was another individual Warren Mays did a lot of music business with, you know. So did Slim? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, he always gave him shows and shit when he was first getting started, you know what I'm saying? So Slim would always salute Warren Mays, you know. Basically, Warren Mays liked music. He'd do music with anybody that would do music with him. But during the era he was doing it, too many people wouldn't deal with him because of his background. You know, he was a strong individual. He moved like Puff back in the 80s. Association with Mia X? Oh, Mia X, that's that's real close association on a, on a, on birth side, childbirth side. You know, so I mean, that's 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 something deep. You know, so yes, 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 it's, that's it's her baby daddy. Yes, they 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 tied in. That's that that type birth through birth. You know, so that shit. Crucial. Yeah. So I don't want to get into that, but that's definitely real family. They put a few of them in the San Bernal, and they put a few of them in the Ivyville, you know. Our ones wide open, we ain't tripping, we got love, so we took a few that they got from back there and let them come on home, you know. Love, that's how it's going on one right love in the in field, field, you know. One love, we ain't tripping. Were you around when they tore the project down? Oh, uh, uh, no, indeed. That was a heartbreaker for me to watch that shit. But, I mean, by me knowing the culture of the city, I knew that my sit my, my project was gonna make it. Even though they read, I knew the situation of us setting in the middle in Central City. That go under, canal go under, mm. burn go under. That's not going under. Was that a culture shock too to see all those projects? Man, that shit different? hurt it. That shit it hurt it. Mm. It hurt it because I love the bricks. But I also, in the same light, understand the cultural significance to it too, man. So come out here and see the French quarters, you know? But take the time to go four, five blocks over and visit Arborville if you got time.